So this week we're at Double Drop Ranch. Now Double Drop is located about 15 miles just outside of Huntsville, Texas. And Double Drop Ranch is home to lots of exotic hunting. On this program, we're gonna have Austin Rohr with us. Austin is the owner of Superior Outfitters and they've been sponsoring us for quite some time now. And Austin, we've actually uh, filmed his wife, Taylor, taking one of her very first deer. You got him. Thank you. It's your first one. Know, Good job. Perfect. Holy smokes. I think that's what you call beginner's luck, yeah. huh? I'd say so. Oh my gosh. Austin and I were sitting there talking and uh, he had a bucket list animal that he wanted to go after. He was telling me, he said, look, I want to go after a buffalo. I said, I know just the place and double drop is it. And then what we're going to be doing is something really special because most of the hunts that you see us doing at double drop are done, well, during the daytime hours. But they've got a special hunt that we're going to be doing at nighttime and we're going to be going after hogs. I think you're going to love this one. My name is Austin Rohr with Superior Outfitters. We're located in Tyler in Longview, Texas. We have two outfitters stores there. We really specialize in firearms and accessories and optics. They've got lots of optics and yep, Pulsar. You know, I sponsor the show and I supply these guys with a lot of gear, you know, from the Pulsars that they get to all their Timber Creek stuff. And we're the only people that I know that actually give a lifetime warranty on the guns. So, you know, it really works out good for Keith because, you know, he gets to test out our warranty and he gets to test out us. So it all works out well. I'm fired up, buddy. Thank you. Good job. Hey, you're welcome. Got a little bit of something else extra for you though. I thought, huh. you know, kind of set it off just right. Not cool. What do you think of that? I mean, we can almost do everything. Hey, man, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're fixing to go on a hunt. You know, I've hunted with uh, Keith and Maddie before, and, you know, I always look forward to it. And they told me about the Double Drop Ranch, so I'm pretty excited. So Double Drop Ranch is like the dream ranch for any hunter. And the reason I say that is because, one, it's beautiful. I mean, you can just see that looking at it, the tall pine trees, and in the fall, you've got the fall colors, and in the spring, it's just gorgeous and green. You've got a giant lake that you can fish on, and it's teeming with wildlife. I mean, not only do they have some phenomenal exotic hunting here, but look at the size of this panfish right here. Hunting exotics is uh, pretty cool. You know, the whitetail deer season is short and the exotic season is long. The exotic season is 24-7, 365 days a year. And the animals are beautiful. And these animals, now they multiplied so well in Texas and adapted to the habitat that literally, they are doing better in Texas than they are in their native lands where they came from. So anyway, we're fixing to have some fun because Austin is showing up. My name is Marco Pardo and I'm the manager here at Double Drop Ranch. Here at Double Drop Ranch, we specialize in exotic hunts, but we also offer hog hunts. Whether we go after them with pulsar and thermal, whether we go after them with dogs, either way we can get the job done and put you on some really big pigs and a lot of them. My name is Riley Hooks. I work here at Double Drop Ranch. So I specialize in thermal hog hunts and dog hunts. Here at Double Drop, we supply the guns and the ammo for the thermal hog hunts. But tonight, Keith and Maddie brought their own guns with the greatest pulsar thermal imaging on the market. All right, we are preparing to go on a shoot 'em up bang bang, as I like to call it, which is a thermal night hog hunt. When you wind up getting into them big time, your gun's going to get heated up big time. It's for that reason that we wind up using Lucas Oil Extreme Duty Gun Oil. This bulk carrier group is very dry. We're just gonna go ahead and get this thing oiled up and assembled. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wind up taking this, this little Pulsar Trail Thermoscope and we're going to install it on this rifle right here. All right, we're good to go now. I'm gonna show you kind of a different way to sight this in. And because it's a thermal, most people think we wind up using a heated target to sight it in. Just the opposite, I'll show you. So regardless what kind of thermal you have, here's a little tip for you. Uh, a lot of people think you should have something, a target that is hot. Well, a target that is hot shows up through your thermal, but a target that is cold also shows up real well. And the target down there is just a little sandwich bag full of ice. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start recording through the unit here. 
okay and as I'm recording through the unit you can actually see the time code going up in the top left corner now what I'll do is go into the menu and what I want to do I want to check the menu as far as where the zero is set because I took this off of another gun and as you can see up here in the top right corner it says three under X and three under Y okay I just want to check that it's important to kind of remember where you are or where it's set to begin with so now I've got the coordinates that's saved as you can see I'm going to go back and get in my main crosshairs right there and I'm going to go ahead and take a shot and just see where I wind up okay clearly I did not hit it let's go down and take a look at it right now I'm going to stop record okay not bad okay I want to point this out see this shot right here is low and right and so what the important thing to do is is for us to take the sight image that's inside the trail rifle scope and we're just going to move it low right we're going to move it to where the little white dot is right here and i'll show you how to do that right now all right so we're shooting low right i'm going to turn on the recording device inside the trail now i'm going to go into the menu right there you'll see in the top right hand corner again x was three y is three we're going to first off hit the x that right there is going to activate the left to right movement so i started at three and i'm going to go up to about 10 right there okay now i'm going to go to y which is going to be the up to down and i'm going to lower it down to about right there okay we're going to save those coordinates just like that we're still recording we're going to take a shot and see what happens that's what it's supposed to look like right there and that's how you sight your thermal device again this is a pulsar xp50 and uh we're fixing to go kill some pigs now it's time for viewer feedback brought to you by protect the harvest protect the hunt okay this one comes to me off of instagram it says maddie i heard you're now doing ranch real estate what part of texas do you think is the best place to buy a ranch and why that is an infamous question i think it all depends on what you're wanting in a ranch are you wanting something that's close to home are you wanting something for cows or for hunting what are you wanting to hunt there's a lot of questions that go into that so if you're interested in buying a ranch or selling a ranch, go ahead and give me a call. I'm more than happy to help. That's a great question, and if you have one for us, head to our website and click on the Connect with Keith and Maddie tab. Hogs are very, very smart. A lot of people think pigs are stupid, but they are not. They've got great eyesight, and more importantly, they have great noses. And it's for that reason that we always have scent killer with us in the field, because we have to do everything that we can to try to get around those good noses. Riley and Brady decided to take us out on a thermal hog hunt, and it's just a great opportunity to get some trigger time on some hogs. We're here at Double Drop. We ride on the, a truck or a buggy and spot and stalk off the buggy. We'll spot them and then we'll stalk them within 50 to 60, 70 yards. The general the rush is like nothing you'll ever experience and the clients love it. So what a lot of people don't understand is what happens behind the camera. You know, you sit on your couch and you think it looks easy, but whenever you have camera crews behind you and you know other shooters, it can get tricky for sure. We weren't in the field at hardly any time at all, and all of a sudden we came across a lone boar hog that's about to get on. So Austin and I spot a big lone pig, I mean a really big pig, and he's acting real spooky. And all of a sudden he takes off and he busts us. He heads towards the brush. We wait around for a minute and we can kind of see him with the thermal and see he's still in the brush and we hope that he's gonna come back out. Well, lo and behold, this hog decides to step back out, and it's game time. Me and Maddie are ready to shoot. She starts counting down three. Two, one. So we 
we both take aim, we shoot, and boom. He looks like a cartoon character. He looks like one of those cats that goes and takes off running, so we know he's down. All right, we've got a nice big <laughs> loan boar down. Austin and I put the stock on this loan boar earlier and we recovered him. Um, we've got some tricked out rifles that Austin did at Superior Outfitters. Tell them a little bit about them. Both got uh, dado defenses, which are my favorite ARs. And then of course we tricked them out in some uh, Timber Creek and that's the new Battle Worn series that Timber Creek's doing. Uh, then we put the dado defense wave suppressors on there and of course, the best thermal units on the market are the Pulsar XP50s and the Accolade uh, binos there, so. Yeah, and something that's really cool, Double Drop is known for their exotic hunts, but they also do a lot of pig hunts, whether you wanna hunt with dogs, whether you wanna hunt with Pulsar, they do it all, so. I think I'm gonna hang my hat up for the night and let you partner up with my dad, and. Sounds well, good. Yeah, see if y'all get as lucky as we did. All right, let's do it. After that, Maddie then handed her rifle off to Keith and we went to scouting a little bit. Before we knew it, there was another pack of pigs. So we get up and we ranged them. We said, well, let's get a little bit closer and we snuck up a little bit, got another 30, 40 yards closer. And we set up. And then all of a sudden, chaos starts. Mm -hmm. One night. Yeah, we got it done. You know, the, the cool thing about it is, you know, the, the equipment that we're using is really sophisticated. I mean, it wasn't even available to, to the public, you know, say five years ago. And the quality of this equipment is incredible. I mean, and it's not just the, you know, the rifle and the, the thermal optics on it, but also, you know, this Kofi Yeager rest. I mean, without that, I mean, I, literally, I can't make the shot uh, without that that I can make with it. I mean, it's rock solid. And all the equipment that you see here is available right there at Superior Outfitters in Tyler, Texas. So you can get a hold of Austin Roar. And I want to put in a plug for the folks over at Double Drop Ranch. I mean, uh, they wind up, they specialize in exotic hunts, okay. but uh, they also do a lot of hog hunting and they've got a couple of guys that help them out. You got Riley and his little brother Brady and uh, they grew up out here and they know this country like the back of their hand, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and they put us on them, man. So a big shout out to those guys. Tell them thank you for helping out and uh, it's time to get these guys loaded up, head back and get to work on them. You know, so coming out here at Double Drop Ranch, you know, it, it's hard to choose. I mean, they have so many animals. Uh, it's just really hard to choose. But then I saw that they had buffalo. You know, they're just a nostalgic animal, and it's something I could fill my freezer up, and man, I just had to have it. As an archer, I know that uh, years ago when I took my first buffalo, they said, man, there's no way you can kill a buffalo with one shot. Look at the blood come out, look at the blood come out. Yeah, 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 oh yeah. That went all the way through him. Good gosh, it went all the way through him. It went all the way through him. I don't believe that. And I got a clean pass through one arrow and he didn't go but about 50 yards and he was done. Look at this, look at this. Man, like great big afro. Look at the size of his horns. Check this out, look at that. You know, buffalo is a big animal and they can pack a punch. So today I'm gonna be using a 375 H&H. &H. I'd say it's on. Buffaloes are definitely grazers and roamers. They graze a lot of land every day. So we're gonna drive around, try to do some spot and stock and uh, see what we can find. All right, we got sighted in and uh, we're going over that herd of buffalo. There's uh, one really big bull here that we're really wanting and you know, one thing about the buffalo here and all the way across the nation is, is they, they really cover a lot of ground. So 
Um, they're very mobile animals, so we're gonna cover some ground tonight and uh, hopefully find us one. We spotted the buffalo off in the distance, so we circled back around and we're gonna come through these woods right here and use it for some cover and try to sneak up on them and do a little spot and stock. We got in the woods and we just started tracking. We wanted to get as close as we possibly could to make a good ethical shot. So then I get on the coke here and Matt turns to me and says, if you're comfortable, let's go for it. Nice job. You dropped him. Congratulations, Woo. man. That was adrenaline. That was awesome. Wow. Such an awesome animal. Yes, that is. It's gonna fill the freezer oh, for fill sure. The freezer for sure. No doubt about that one. Fill the freezer for sure. Woo. And then as soon as I pulled the trigger, it hit that buffalo. That buffalo expired. He dropped, and it was the best possible outcome that could have happened. All right, let's man, go check him out. Yeah, for sure. That was Ooh. a great shot. Yeah, he dropped. Yeah, he did not take a step. Man, that was a, that was an awesome hunt. That was a very exhilarating, and I uh, just don't know of anything more American than a, a buffalo here. And the hunt just had me, the whole time was just pumping, going through the woods, and then whenever he turned broadside, and trying to look at the most ethical shot, and to save the meat on there, you know, just one shot and he was gone. and. 375 was definitely the right choice on that. I don't know if I could have taken a shot like that um, if I didn't have that Copiaker pod there. It was very secure. Uh, there was no wiggle to it. And even a gun as heavy as this, you know, it, it got the job done. And uh, I, I just can't thank you enough, Matt, and your time here at Double Drop. I mean, yes, this sir. ranch has just been the most amazing ranch I've ever been to. And through everything I've seen here and the accommodations, I can't thank Double Drop Ranch enough for it. So. I'm really looking forward to getting into the processor and uh, bringing some meat home to the family. Hunting with Keith and Maddie, it's it's always a good time. We you know we always get to catch up, and you know over the years it's all become like family, and I love it. You know I've got two little girls at home and I can't wait to get them outdoors and get them to shooting, to learn how to hunt, fish, and to protect themselves. It's something that I truly look forward to. You know, Maddie grew up in the outdoors and uh, ever since she was a little bitty, she doesn't remember her first hunting trip. She's been on tons of them. And the, the cool thing is you look at Maddie and you think, ah, she's a young lady now. To me, she's still my little girl. But you look at her and you think, what kind of experience could this young lady have because she's a young lady. Well, let me tell you something. She's got more experience than many hunters that are much, much older. And the reason why is because of time. She has spent the time and had the experiences outside. It helps our relationship. Would you rather be home in the air conditioning or sweating out here? Sweating. And uh, I promise you, if you got kids, I don't know of a better thing to do with them, especially in the summertime. Take them hunting. There you go. What do you think? I think it was fun. I think it was fun too. This hunt was one for the books. There's just something about being able to hunt with your family and friends and friends that respect the same things that you do. Austin Rohr is such a stand-up guy and he hunts with his kids and does the same thing that my dad did with me when I was a little girl. So I'm very grateful for Double Drop Ranch for hosting us. It's just been the trip of a lifetime and we were able to do it right here in Texas. If y'all want more information about hunting opportunities, with the Double Drop Ranch, look them up online or give Marco Pardo a call. My name is Keith Warren, and we'll see you next time. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.